Well, everyone, it's Wednesday, July 24th, 2024. I am Doug. It's time once again to play some connections. Don't know if we can top yesterday's episode, but we'll give it a try. As we always do. Uh, what do we have today? We have Kid, Calf, C A L F, Thigh, Kit, K I T, not K I T T, the famous car from Knight Rider. Anyhow, I digress. Tender, Shoulder, Muscle, Rib, Fawn, Tease, Jostle, Cub, Breast, <clears throat> Barge, Raz, and wing okay well uh let's just get this out of the way so i don't break into a beavis and butthead moment uh through the whole thing a rib a thigh uh a wing and a breast are all uh pieces of chicken is prepared and consumed by those who enjoy eating the superfood chicken is that the category one away oh oh <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, rib. No, a chicken rib is not something one eats. What was I thinking? Tender. Wow. Did I just say you go to, to KFC and go, I'm going to have a three-piece bucket and like a, a breast, a thigh, a wing, and a, a four-piece and, and a rib, please? <laughs> Sir, this is a Wendy's. Uh, chicken. There you go. Poultry cuts. Okay. Poultry cuts, and it's the green category. All right, let's move along here. Uh, what do we have? Hmm. To razz someone, to kid someone, to rib someone, and to tease someone is to uh, have fun at the expense of, um, to, uh, to play a joke on, to prank. Joke around with. Okay, there we go. And it's the yellow. Okay, uh, let's see here. To, uh, hmm, what do we have here? Um, to barge in on, a barge, uh, fawn could be, uh, a fawn is, I want to say a bird, it's an animal. <laughs> Uh, shoulder could be to give someone the cold shoulder to make a, a physical interaction to shoulder someone. Um, boy, there's a lot of interesting bits and pieces here. Hmm. Uh, muscle car. Uh, no, I don't think that's it. I figure like a, a phrase and something not super obvious, obviously. Oh, a cow, oh, a fawn, a calf, a cub um, are, are the child versions of various animals. <laughs> cub, fawn, calf, and I want to say kit. Young animals. Baby animals. Okay, there we go. Um, I'm glad that. See, I like the fact, this is one of those cases where I'm happy that we're not doing this live in front of an audience where inevitably someone would demand that I uh, name which animal each were a baby of. Uh, so I kind of like, this is one of those rare moments where I'm good that we record this, you watch it, and then you can give me the feedback that you had found it unfortunate. I didn't, in fact, identify the animals. So I'm sorry. So we have the purple here, jostle, barge, shoulder, and muscle. Um, okay, so... Hmm. Jostle. See, I don't think that's part of a phrase. So maybe we're looking at wordplay here. Um, jostle, barge, shoulder, and muscle. Um, I don't think we've got homophones. I don't think that's it. Even though muscle could be, so we've got muscle is spelled M-U-S-C-L-E, like you know, I'm a muscle-bound muscle, muscle -bound guy, but you know, it could be the homophone for muscle, which would be the M-U-S-S-E-L, which would be the fish. <laughs> um, but I don't think that you've got other homophones in that category, so I'm going to pass on that. Um, jostle is interesting, to shake something up. Um like an impact between two things to shake something up, 
Um, it's an action to barge in on something, to shoulder something, to muscle something. So it's like a forced movement, though. Like, jostle is a forced movement. To barge in is a forced movement. To muscle through a crowd is a forced movement. I guess you might make the case for shoulder. So I actually think I'm on to something here. Uh, we got, in my opinion, three points. I'm going to take a swing at this and say this is like a forced or unexpected sudden movement. Is that the category? Push through a crowd. I did say, wait, well, hold on. I think, you know what? I think I got it because when I said muscle, I said like muscle through a crowd. Um, uh, I feel like, so the $64,000 question is, do I get credit because I, I got the category characterizing one of the group members in, in, you know, in a, although I will say that I settled on a sudden or unexpected movement, pushing through a crowd implies intent. So this is a tricky one to judge, right? Do I get zero points, a half point, a full point? I think you make a case for all the above. So I'm going to leave that in the audience's hands. Three points eh, plus something. Let's talk about it in the comments below. That's what I love about this community. Uh, I love hearing your experiences and your kind of feelings on what or what I don't deserve in terms of points. Uh, it's a fun time. It's it's it. I think we all get the joke, so to speak, that we're having fun with it, and uh, and I love that sense of community. We're all in on it together. Uh, uh, well, folks, as always, thank you so much for watching. Please, by the way, please like and subscribe if you enjoy uh, the fun and antics here. It helps us out quite a bit. And as always, we'll see you tomorrow with some more connections.